What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets Radio. We broadcast live Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, Friday night, 8 o'clock. Um, we appreciate everybody watching these videos and calling in and talking to us. We appreciate it. We're nothing more than fans. <laughs> We're definitely not experts, so we appreciate you interacting with us. Um, if you ever had a time to figure out that winning is the ultimate deodorant, it's right now. Jets beat the Giants, and all is quiet. You go on social media, not a lot of anger. You see some fire gay stuff, but not as much as there was. The campaign is quiet. Everybody's quiet now. And that's if you're looking for change for next year. If you want Adam Gase fired as soon as possible, this winning is going to be your, your biggest problem. And then the Jets' schedule, which is 28 in terms of strength of schedule, is a big problem. Because they have games coming up they should win, in theory. Redskins, rookie quarterback. Bengals, rookie quarterback. Dolphins, I mean, the Dolphins aren't that good of a team. You have games that are very winnable. And then you're looking at a season where you end 5-11, and 6-10. and 10. If you win three or four of your last seven, the case for Adam Gase to be come back is going to be built, especially when you have all these injuries. You know, week by week, they, lose, they lost two more players, Brian Winters, Chris Herndon. He is going to build a case that, hey, look at all these injuries, but I still found ways to win as the season progressed. I still found ways to win with my quarterback, Sam Darnold, and all these roster deficiencies. So it's almost like right now the Jets winning is actually losing if you want Gase out. And me personally, I do. Because if you look at all the, the all the, the red flags that are out there from game management, time management, his friggin' coordinator holds his red flag, his challenge flag. I mean, there are so many things Adam Gase has done wrong to this point that injuries should not be his excuse. They shouldn't be built in. A barren roster shouldn't be his excuse because if you're two and seven now, so many, there's games that are winnable. I mean, your team wasn't even showing up. They weren't prepared. You can make a good case that once a script, your your offensive play plan, uh, I'm sorry, offensive play uh, game plan runs out, your first script, you don't know what you're doing. Your Jets, Giants, first quarter looked efficient. The script was done. For two quarters, they lost. They looked lost on offense. So there's a lot of things that are here alarming. Um, even the, the play of Sam Darnold hasn't been good. The Giant game was better. But we got to keep in mind that he played against a very, very bad defense. I want to see how Sam Darnold plays against the Raiders, the Steelers, the Ravens, the Bills. Let's see what he does there. I mean, beating the Redskins this Sunday and playing well is not really all that impressive. You're beating a very bad team with a rookie quarterback. But, it, you know, it's like I want to see him play against the better level teams. We need to have higher standards as an organization. But the, like I said... The, your biggest problem now as a Jet fan is that they keep winning these games. They beat the Redskins. You win two in a row. Any fan can't say, hey, you got to fire Adam Gase. I mean, that, that's just where we're at now. Look at the campaign, that the whole flying a plane nonsense. Those guys are quiet. I mean, Jay's quiet. I mean, it, it's just what it is because you, like you look like an idiot. You can, oh, they won a game. Oh, got to fire him. Nope. Because the organization, you, know, you just look foolish. So you almost need them to lose a game to the Redskins to get everybody back on track saying, you know what? Adam Gase really isn't that good of a coach. And that's what I honestly feel. So interesting times for the Jets. Um, the more injuries they have, the more excuses they have. And you get the you just get this feeling that they're gonna end the season, you know, like probably five and eleven, and they're gonna say, you know what? Based on all things considered, we're going to bring him back. And that is gonna set back this organization three more years. Because the same thing when you have when you had Mike McCagney when you gave him the draft and hundred million dollars to come into this year. If you give Adam Gase the ability to work with this team another year, you're setting everything back three more years if he's not the coach that we if he is the coach that we think he is, which is a bad one. So stay tuned. This is this is interesting. They keep winning. You're gonna start, I'm gonna keep drinking because uh we've seen this show before, and sometimes you gotta identify and cut your losses. They should have cut their losses against the Dolphins the next day fired Adam Gase. Now he's gonna find a way to keep his job. And that's that's typical Jets. That is typical Jets. That, that's the biggest nightmare if you're a fan. And uh, that's it. So hopefully he, I mean, hopefully we see something. And Sam, at least Sam Darnold gets out of this season healthy and does something. But uh, this is, it's not positive. So talk to you guys later.